Hello and welcome to this idea flip orientation video. You would have received in your email a link inviting you to an idea flip board, which you would have clicked on and uh, accepted that invite to join the board. Now, what your board looks like will be different to what I'll be showcasing in this video, but it will pretty much have the same features. So this board I've just created for the purposes of this video and let us just see what it looks like overall. On my, this bottom right, bottom left corner here, that is my canvas viewer. It allows me to zoom in and out so that I can see what is contained in this board and this whole platform is called the canvas. To the right, top right, I've got my stationary pad, which has a whole lot of features which I will get into. I just want to take you through to this section of the board. I'm going to zoom in just so that I walk you through what will be covered in this video. So I'm going to show you how to sign in uh, using the link that you have received via email. All you need to do is do the following. I'm going to share my desktop. You go to your emails. There's, an, there's the email that you would have received that you've been invited and you select, you click on that link and it will open up as you can see now this link and there I am. It will either sometimes invite you, uh, take you directly onto the board or it will give you an option to say join board. Uh, whichever of those two will lead you directly to what we have here. So that's how you sign in. And then how do you invite others to collaborate? That's the second point uh, on our agenda here. On your idea flip next to your stationary pad, now your stationary pad, you could either uh, click on it that way for it to disappear so that you can see more of the board. You have this plus button. That is how you, you add people so you can choose also how to invite them, uh, either by email address or you want to copy a link. If you want to invite them by email address, you would then enter their email addresses here. And then depending as well, what you want them to do or the various levels, they can either view what's on the board, they can contribute, they can get to edit. Uh, contributing and editing has different functionalities. As a contributor, you simply can just add stuff on the, on, on, on the board as I will show you later. And of course, as the owner, you also can download the board yourself. You can also do the same by sharing the link with them and you choose as well for each of the links that you want to share, what you want, what level you want people to, to have. Now, how do we add sticky notes and other items onto the board, which is the next point here. Now I'm going to show you what it is that I've designed for this board. Each and every board, as I said earlier, will be different. So the first thing that I want us to look at here is I've got a couple of, of groups next to each other. I've got this group here, which is titled, let me just zoom in so that you can see it more. It's titled presenters and in this block, I have two people, Maba and Catherine, who will be presenters in this session. And I have also this block that says participants. Now, currently this box is empty. That's because I want to show you how you can add different things. So I'm going to be adding my participants. I know who my participants are. So I'm going to be adding their images. So all I do is I come to my stationary pad, 
I scroll down because I want to add images past all of these and then it says images or files and then I simply click to add. Now these are the people that I want to add. I want to add my colleague Christo, Heidi, Mark and Mez onto the board and I simply do that. And as you see, their, their images are popping up right there. And there I have my participants. And I can also name them. Let us, let's say uh, these people don't know each other. You can also name them. So there's a whole lot of things you can add uh, different features, a tag, for example, I can add this tag here. And that is mark and mark it as such. They have just made it a touch bigger. You can do all of that. Idea flip is also really cool for collaboration as well. Uh, so we have now uh, both presenters and participants in in our session. And let us see perhaps what it is that we can do on idea flip. So we have here on the left, our first uh, topic that we'd like to discuss in this uh, simulated uh, orientation. And this is when might we hold our strategic planning meeting? And here you can either have pre-populated sticky notes. You can also add sticky notes from here. You can choose as well different colors and different shapes of sticky notes as you can see here on your stationary pad. So I'm just going to take yellow. Um, so I just dragged it and I put it on onto the box as you can see. And I double click to edit. And my first option would be 17 June at 2 p.m. Someone else might make uh, an input because remember this is all happening in real time with different people logged into onto the board. Someone else might recommend the 25th of June at 9 a.m. Someone else in the team suggests 7 July at 1 p.m. I'm just going to be adding these times. So there we have, um, I just have a, a few items that I've, I've, I've put in. I'm just going to move these to the side so that I can make these a touch bigger for you to see. These are the options that we have for the suggested times when we might hold our strategic meeting. And from these, we may perhaps as a team then indicate which times might work for all of us. And in so doing, you can move to your stationary pad and choosing what you could use a tick and you put it next onto the time that works for you as an individual, you see? And so people can, can rate which of these or, or choose or vote for options that work for them. And let us assume that in the team amongst the participants here, three people voted for the 23rd of July at 10 a.m. So that's how we would do. And then we would come here, for example, we can just copy this. I'll show you how to copy, you double click, you click on this icon to copy and it duplicates it. And you can just move it down here to, for, since we know then that this is the time that we have selected. We can also do um, another brainstorm what video conferencing platforms do we want to try? Again, I'm just going to show you um, how to add. I, I double click on it and I put in my options. So Zoom is one option that I could use. Um, we could also use Microsoft Teams. 
And then I simply hit OK. We could also use, there's another platform called GoToMeetings. And there's also Skype for Business. And we could also try easy talks, meetings. So again, uh, just for the sake of this video, we, I have here some five options of things that we, we could try. And again, um, people could vote. And so you could say here, Again, I'm just going to show you a different ranking system using stars. So you ask people to rate which platform they think is best for us to do this. And let us see. Uh, and you say each person has three stars, a bronze, a silver, and a gold. Gold would be for when um, it works, uh, the, the platform that they think is best. So. Maybe I'll put my golden sticker here on Zoom. I'll use my silver one on Microsoft Teams and bronze maybe for go to meeting. And someone else might do do it differently. As you can see. And then you can see as well now which which of these options has has the highest number of gold stars as as there's your top option and that might be as we can see here it's zoom and now we move to the last bit on our board and i just want to show you what other things that you could do i mean i've shown you how to add these um stickies you just simply grab and you put onto the board there's also some other tools that you can do here on your pad where you can create custom messages for your guests you can lock the board so that people cannot work on it. They can just view it. Uh, you can also click this follow me, um, which allows you when you're sharing for guests to have their own view. And you can also put in a countdown timer for an activity. And that right there brings us to an end of this orientation. Thank you for your time.